Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Silk from Louis Renado um, and published by Dever Games but I've received this copy through Cosmos Games, thank you very kindly for the review copy. So I assume these companies are connected somehow and I am so excited to unbox this, you've no idea. Um, Silk is a game that was released at Essen in 2018 and it was actually on my list of games to pick up before I realised Essen was a hell of a lot bigger than I was and I didn't quite get around to everything. And so Silk is one that I really wanted to try for some time. Um, part of this is because of the artwork. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous looking? A part of this is because of the meeples um, and of course the gameplay. So yeah, to say that um, I've been waiting a while to do this would be a terrible misstatement. Okay, we're not even going to finish that sentence. Okay, so let's see what the box is about. First things first, this is a lovely, lovely box. So these are kind of raised up or in kind of plastic, so it's kind of shiny. And then this is kind of nice and smooth. I really love the art. The art's very cute. And as far as I know, this game is about basically making silk and silk farms. Yeah, okay. And so let's see what's on the back. Actually, look at the side of that. Isn't that just stunning? It's beautiful. So as you can see, this game is for two to four players, um, ages 10 and up, and it takes about 45 minutes to play. So what's it got on the back? Lots of languages, which I suppose is good, but not so much pictures of the game. Looks like we're gonna have tiles that we'll lay out, and then we'll have things in our pastures, our fields, there'll be player boards. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that's basically what it says, and so become a silkworm shepherd and with the help of your faithful mastiff collect the finest silk in the world. I really hope there's some sort of dog representation in this. I have a thing for dogs. Maybe you noticed. Alright, what's inside the box? I can't contain this anymore. Alright. So the first thing that appears to be inside of the box is um, a, obviously a game board of some sort. For a minute I thought it was a player board, but then there would be more of them. So this one underneath it anyway is that must be, um, you know, keeping score. Fair enough. It's very pretty, isn't it? I love that, that it goes round and round. And then there's different ones for four players, for three players. Or maybe the game ends when you get to that point. Sounds good. This one seems like a kind of a reminder board. So I'm not sure what the red things are, but that's definitely a silkworm. And that's like you and your pet and more of these red things. Okay, it's very pretty. I like how it's done, so I, I assume it's kind of a reminder thing, but very, very nice. Also, the cardboard in these is super thick. Really, really nice quality. Okay, next, the rule book. Now, how many languages do we get it in? We get it in, oh wow, <laughs> seems like a bit of a waste of paper. Um, many languages. Oh my goodness, okay, so there are in fact five rule books in total in here. We only need one. Um, but that's cool for other people, right? Especially if you, you know, English isn't your first language. It'd be cool to have, you know, games that speak to you. Okay, so what's inside? First is first paper. Um, it's thick. It's not too shiny. Yeah, no, it is shiny. You can see on the screen it's shiny. So it tells you a little bit about it. Here's the components. So there are, in fact, 15 silkworms of each colour. There's a shepherd. There's a mastiff. Oh my god. A silkworm nursery. Oh, and one ukami. Woo! <laughs> Tone yourself down, Eddie. Tone yourself down. So, setting up the game, so it's different for two, three, and four players. They have specific setups. Um, there are phases. Um, the illustrations here are nice. I kind of wish they were photographs for some reason, because you wanted to represent exactly what your own board might look like, you know, when you're setting things up. So, phase two. Um, how to play a player turn, modifying the results of a roll. So, obviously, we're going to roll dice. Oh, here we go. There's that board. Um, oh, the Okami then, ooh, is on the action board. This is where the fierce beast keeps the silkworm she captures so that she can feed on them in the winter. Wow, that's a nice touch. I didn't think that was going to be in there or something like that. I thought this was going to be a very pleasant farming game. So movement rules, so how you can move. Bumping, you can bump pieces. Um, raise the silkworm, move shepherd or mastiff. All right, so there's quite a few things you can do. Um, you can build a wall. There we go. <laughs> Look at the picture of the wall, that's brilliant. Keep everything safe because obviously there's something threatening here which is kind of interesting wall improvements construct a silkworm nursery okay i see that help there's grazing there's the okami so you can move the okami around the end of the game and final scoring Hey, look at that summary of the rules in the back of the rule book this game just goes up and up and up in my estimations that's fantastic that's just what you need okay 
so one, whoa, okay. We have many tiles. So are these all green ones? Green, so we got postures and rocks. Rocks, oh, rock with no cami on it. And then green actual postures. So let's see what this stuff feels like. We'll pop one out. Oh, no. oh they're brown on the other side. Okay, multi-use tiles. Oh yeah, they're super chunky. Don't know if you guys can see how thick they are. Super thick, they're lovely quality. I really like the colors of all of this. There's just something really um, enchanting about it. So yeah, so I have much boards to pop out. Then we have these, which seem to be like bonuses. Hmm, yeah, I think so. Did I, if somebody gets a bonus tile. All right, nice. And here we go, okay. So there is a nice insert in here. Not sure where everything goes, but there is an insert. So the first thing I'm going to go with is these little silkworms. So you see the player colours in this are really quite interesting. I'll open them up here so you can get representative of one of each colour. These are a little smaller than I thought they were from the box. But I suppose if you want to fit them all in those little squares, they can't be big things. Let's show you guys some silkwormage. Here we go. You see them? The color, so they're the player colors, which is really interesting. If you're colorblind, let me know if that actually works for you or not, because I think it should, because they're not the direct primary colors. They're nice, they're tiny. They're very well made though. <laughs> they're actually kind of tickly when they sit in your hand because they have so many legs. <laughs> so they are very nice. What else we got down here? I see dice over there. I want to see where your dog is, because you know, dogs. Ooh. So, oh, there's more things in player colours here, so must be must be the, your shepherd. Well, there's the Okami. Yet again, I thought he was bigger. Oh, come and eat your silkworms. He looks distinctly vicious. Oh, he's got a red eye and everything painted on him. That's nice. That's a really nice touch. Okay, so what else is in here? So these must be shepherds. Let's have a look. Shepherds in your mastiff. And there's like a plus 50 um, points marker. <laughs> Your shepherd looks so panicked. They're like, oh God, help me. <laughs> I like the massive though, it's quite cute. Very cute. A lot of effort went into making these pieces. They're very nice ones. Then you got some of your standard -y wooden dicey. Typical fair. Looks nice. I have a feeling they're supposed to go in there. What are the odds? Because there's only two dice. Would I be wrong? Would I be right? Oh, they do kind of fit. Although maybe something else is supposed to fit. I won't try and figure out where everything goes in the, the thing for now. Okay, so then we have some walls over there. Let's have a look at those. It's a nice little insert. I wonder how long it will survive when I flip it on its side. But there are quite a number of boards in this, so that might help. Sticks. Oh, they're very, they are actually walls. They're not just straight walls. I don't know how I'm going to show that to you, but they're actually in little triangles. Okay, so they, are, they would stand up if I put them the right way around. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's hard. But yeah, they're not just flat pieces of wood. They're actually shaped pieces of wood. That's really, really nice as well. So they look more like dams than they do just, you know, flat pieces. No, make sure you seal it. There we go. And then last but not least, looks like the silkworm... I want to call them factories, but I know I don't mean the word factory. The big ones you build. Whoops. <laughs> These look like giant clouds. They're lovely. They're huge and chunky. See how big they are? Yeah, they're massive. So they're really, really nice components in here. I love the artwork. The gameplay looks quite interesting. Yeah. This game is living up to all of my expectations. Um, so now, let's try and put it back in the box. This bit felt like it fitted in here when it came out. Will it go back down? Yeah, we'll make it go back down. Here we go. All my rule books. <laughs> yeah, so have you heard of silk before? Is this your first encounter with it? What do you think so far? Doesn't it look nice? I think it looks very charming. I'm, I'm super excited to try it out. Um, so yeah, you've been watching Board Game Inquisition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not think about liking or subscribing to the channel? That'd be pretty great or you could just tell a friend I exist so we can all play with board games together um so until next time I'll be here playing games asking questions and of course I'll hopefully be unboxing some more games and perhaps you'll even join me and until then take care goodbye